Contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hey guys, Tim here from timscomputerfix.net. I have in my shop here a drone. Actually, this is a DJI Phantom 3 Standard Edition. And what is the deal with this drone is that the owner, and we've taken the blades off here, but the owner has actually um, hit power lines with this by accident and it has broken off his gimbal. Now you can see here exactly where the gimbal has broken. Pretty much snapped that right off and here is the broken part of the gimbal here snapped it right off pretty much now what we found with these is if he had broken this anywhere further up the line here in other words if he would have broken it here or broken it here any one of these arms it would have been repairable without purchasing a whole other gimbal a new gimbal is at this time of filming this is around $300 these this drone particular drone at this time is is valued at maybe 600 maybe but um, so half of the value of the drone is what he's uh, having to invest in you could find parts to these arms on on gimbals online and also this this ribbon cable that kind of runs up in through the arms here. You can find the whole kit, rebuild kit online, but you can't find it with the camera. You, once, if you have to buy a whole new gimbal, it comes as a complete set with the camera. So uh, you can't, um, you can't purchase the gimbal without the camera attached to it. Now there are other solutions out there online if you have a GoPro or something like that you know um, that would you know there's there's ways of, of buying uh, third-party gimbals that you can mount a GoPro to and what have you but um, this particular customer wants it back how how it was originally. He has purchased the new gimbal and here it is fully assembled how, this is how it's been shipped. You purchase the whole gimbal. It all comes with this whole assembly here. It also comes with the, the, the bracket, the back plate, I guess you could call it. And that would be this guy here with the, with the um, recoils, I guess you could call it the rubber recoil um, grommets. And it, it also ships with a couple of the pegs, too, that, that hold the gimbal in place to the vibration bracket here. For anti-vibration is what, what this is for. So, I mean, it looks to me like, like this bracket up in here is just fine. But we're going to have to remove this guy from it in order to put the new one into place. So, yeah, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do here is remove these tabs. Let's see, let's push, push the clip down. And then we'll snip this tip right off. And the clip comes off like so. Push that up. That comes off. And now our clip can come out. Oops. Same thing here. Push down. We're gonna snip the snip this tip right off. Watch your eyes. <laughs> okay, clips come right out that way. Okay, see that one's stuck in there a little bit. But we'll... So this clip here, this clip here, this particular one here is not going to come out too easy. We may have to actually remove the plate to get that one out. But that's okay because at this point we can uh, take these little 
take these little vibration absorbers here, these rubber, and we'll kind of push them through. I'm trying to be careful not to rip them. Take off this one here. Take off this one here. Nice and gently. Okay, and that's going to leave us with this guy. Now again, this clip, we're having a hard time getting that out because it is pushed up against, oops, sorry, it is pushed up against the body here. So getting that out is a bit tricky. What you want to do here is you will just want to kind of bend up, bend up on the bracket. A little bit and that'll give this pin enough room to slide right out like so okay and then from that point you push all your boots through the holes and from that point you know your 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 gimbal assembly here is good and loose we'll just be able to flip this guy over like so and you'll notice ribbon uh, cable here in two small antenna cables also one gray um, I've already kind of taken this cable off a little bit I got a little bit ahead of the game but but basically there's a clip on the underside of this large um, of this large connector that you push in and you just get your nail if we can go the other way and flip it up this way I can show you better so here's the clip here Right, so what you want to do is push with your fingernail and pry up this way, okay? And that'll undo the clip. You push in and pry up, and you can see that's already started to remove the clip. And you don't want to pull on those wires. You want to be very gentle with them, and then that, and then the clip comes right off like that, okay? And then you're able to flip your drone back over, and now you have access to, easier access to these other uh, two small antenna wires here um, and in order to gain access to those what we're going to have to do is right here and right here are doors those are two doors so at this point what we want to do is remove these two screws here and these two screws over here so we'll go ahead and do that Right, I'll use my little trusty magnet. Get that one out. So I'm going to be a bit stubborn. Okay, there's that. And then we have these two screws over here. Okay. And we can take this one out and take that one out. Okay. We have all four screws out. They're all the same size, so you don't have to worry about that. And now if we flip this guy back over, we now should be able to remove these doors. Oops, one there. One here. All right, and that's going to expose our antennas which are clipped, antenna wires which are clipped in. There's a little radio wires really, so you just want to take a small pry tool or something and just Pry up a little bit on them and they should unsnap. Okay, here's the black. Let's come down here and get the gray. Alright, here's the gray. And there we go. Our gimbal assembly, broken gimbal assembly, has been removed. Okay, so set that aside and Let's have a look now at our new gimbal. So we're going to do everything in reverse. This is going to be a little bit trickier sim simply because we have the camera and the full gimbal in place. I'll go ahead and remove these two screws so we can remove our back doors here. Okay, and that opens right up. Good. And then there's two more screws over here to get. Okay. 
there's always one that's stubborn. There he goes. Okay. All right, so we got those removed. We can take off this door here. Like so. Okay, so we got the black going into this side. So we can just go ahead and kind of clip back into place. Very tricky. Now that this gimbal is all freed up here. Tricky here. Okay, that clipped down nicely. Feed that down into its slot here. So it'll stay. There we go. Very nice. All right, and we also have our gray over here. This is going to be tough to show you with my hands in the way, but I'll do the best I can. Okay, that's how you had to do it. So I had to actually lay it down, use two hands for that one. Those guys are always a lot of fun, aren't they? Those doggone things, those little radio clips. Uh, I call them radio antenna clips. That's what they are, really. All right, so we got that into its groove there. And then we have, then we have our little clip here, which, which, um, gosh, it's tough to show you guys with my hands in the way, but we'll just pretty much clip this guy back. Be sure that is clipped in all the way, both sides. Looks like it is there, nice and snug. Yep, and that's it. And now we can put our little doors back on. I probably should have put the doors back on before I did the clip, but that's it. I think we can work with this just fine. Okay, there's that one. And then there's this one here. Okay, flip this back upside right. From that angle, but these are the two screws we took out for the little doors we took off. is all you need them so you know what you want to do I would highly recommend flipping it back over having one last look at the cabling and making sure everything looks like it's pushed in and hooked up and clipped in correctly and uh, in this case it does I'll flip it back over this way just to have another look at my little clipped area here and uh, that looks pretty good like it's clipped in there nicely. I'm not putting any tension on that at all, but it is clipped in there. And at this point, just to help protect the gimbal and everything, I want to put this bracket back on. All right, once we have that, we'll, we need to get our rubber boots there kind of pushed back into place. It takes a little bit of patience, but I can do it just with my fingers alone. I just pinch them and pull them up on one end. There you go. Let's try that again on this side. See if I can show you how easy it is to well. This I'll just pinch really tight and angle it up like so. And then just grab it with my other, pinch it with my other hand and just pull it through. Right. P 
pinch it. The last one can be a bit tricky because all the other ones are in place. Got it. There we go. Alright, that's all back how it was. Put our clips back in. This one always wants to be there we go. Yep. Flip it. Alright. Flip it. Clip it, and there you go. Our Phantom 3 gimbal is repaired. All we have to do now is test it. Please be aware that after replacing your gimbal, you will have to go through the pairing calibration once again to pair your controller up with the drone. When you first replace your gimbal, you'll get a no signal error on your controller. So pairing the controller to the drone again corrects that problem. Hey, so that's it everyone. Once you pair up your remote to the drone, fire it up. As you can see here, things work quite well. We got good video and everything. Got this drone here fixed up. Hey, please rate and subscribe to my feed. I would appreciate it. Got more videos on the way as usual. Until next time, everyone. See you soon.